I'm Kaylee and this is part five. What part am I on now? I think it's part five of my 2018 bookshelf tour and today I'm going to be showing you the mysteries. kind of put together mystery and any kind of spy thrillers or anything like that that could possibly fall under mystery detective spies anything like that is in this video in this one particular bookshelf in case you didn't know books from case is a charity that donates books to missionary kids if you want to donate to the kids you can do so at gofundme.com there's a link down in the description and there's a button at the end of this video so I was never much of a mystery fan. I mean, I read a little mystery here and there. Hey, I read some Nancy Drew when I was a kid, you know. Uh, but it wasn't really until college that I started uh, loving mysteries again. And of course, I'm gonna be showing you lots of Agatha Christie, <laughs> you know, uh, the queen of mystery, crime, and everything. However, these are not all of my mystery books. Uh, my entire Dorothy Sayers collection is actually shelved somewhere else. And so look for those in another video to come. But for now, I'm just going to show you the mystery books that are on this particular shelf. So without further ado, let's go on over to my mystery shelf. So first we're going to start with the Agatha Christie books, of which there are many. The Secret of Chimneys, The Third Girl. Hercule Poirot's Casebook, The ABC Murders, The Big Four, Passenger to Frankfurt, Sleeping Murder, Nemesis, Curtain, and The Mysterious Affair at Stiles. A Murder is Announced, The Body in the Library, and Murder with Mirrors. Murder in Retrospect, A Holiday for Murder. The Labors of Hercules, The Murder of Roger Ackroyd, Murder in the Muse, Destination Unknown, Easy to Kill, A Caribbean Mystery, one of my absolute favorites, Ten Little Indians. It's also uh, published under the title, And Then There Were None, Sparkling Cyanide, Cards on the Table, The Man in the Brown Suit, which is one of my top three favorite Agatha Christie mysteries. Ordeal by Innocence, one, two, buckle my shoe. Another favorite, Murder on the Orient Express, The Mouse Trap, and other plays. And one I just recently read, Dead Man's Folly. 13 at Dinner, Endless Night, Evil Under the Sun, The Golden Ball and Other Stories, Towards Zero, Appointment with Death, The Regatta Mystery, Three Act Tragedy, Hickory Dickory Death, Mrs. McGinty's Dead, The Seven Dials Mystery, Parker Pine Investigates, and The Last Agatha Christie, Death on the Nile. And now we move on to a lot of Nancy Atherton books, which is the Aunt Dimity series. There are quite a lot of these, and I'm not even going to say them in order. They're just kind of all here. <laughs> Aunt Dimity and the Wishing Well, Aunt Dimity Down Under, Aunt Dimity's Good Deed, Aunt Dimity Digs In, Aunt Dimity and the Duke, Aunt Dimity Slays the Dragon, Aunt Dimity Snowbound, Aunt Dimity Detective, Aunt Dimity Goes West, Aunt Dimity's Christmas, Aunt Dimity Takes a Holiday, the actual first book in the series, Aunt Dimity's Death, Aunt Dimity Beats the Devil, Aunt Dimity and the Deep Blue Sea, Aunt Dimity Vampire Hunter, Aunt Dimity and the Next of Kin. Next, we have a lot of Dorothy Gilman books. Incident at Badamia, The Clairvoyant Countess, The Unexpected Mrs. Polifax, Kaleidoscope, Mrs. Polifax and the Golden Triangle, The Tightrope Walker, Tales Folly, Caravan, Mrs. Polifax and the Hong Kong Buddha, The Amazing Mrs. Polifax, Mrs. Polifax on the China Station, Uncertain Voyage, a Nun in the Closet, Mrs. Polifax on Safari, Mrs. Polifax Innocent Tourist, Mrs. Polifax Pursued, Mrs. Polifax and the Whirling Dervish. And now we start a lot of Patricia Wentworth books, most of which are, actually all of which are from the Miss Silver series. Poison in the Pen, 
Miss Silver comes to stay through the wall. The girl in the cellar. The case is closed. Out of the past. Pilgrims rest. She came back. The clock strikes 12. The fingerprint. The Arlington inheritance. Dead or alive. The Chinese shawl. The Benevent treasure. The ivory dagger. Next, I have most of Stephanie Barron's Jane Austen mysteries, but some of them are on a TBR shelf, so those will be in a different video. Jane and the Prisoner of Wool House. Jane and the Still Room Maid. Jane and the Unpleasantness at Scargrave Manor. Jane and the Wandering Eye. Jane and the Man of the Cloth. The Book of Hours by Davis Bunn. Suddenly at his residence, Castle Door. Don't Look Now. The Marvelously Wonderful Rebecca. And The House on the Strand. And finally, I have a short story collection entitled Great Detectives. So those are my mystery books. Please leave a comment and let me know, are any of these your favorites? Do any of them uh, look interesting to you? You're putting it on your wish list. <laughs> and since I have so many Agatha Christie, leave a comment and let me know, what is your favorite Agatha Christie book? Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and remember the right book in the right hands at the right time can change the world.